of a wine smellier, but have you heard of a water smellier? It's someone who specialises in, well, well water. <laughs> <laughs> and our next guest, Billin Patel, has been one for almost 20 years and says no two waters taste the same. So let's find out. Good morning, Millen. Morning. Now, I totally agree with you. I do not think any two waters taste the same. Right. I could tell the difference in bottled water. Um, so what made you become a water smellier? Yeah, of course. So I'm here to hydrate your imagination with water Ooh. as unique as you. And it's the passion for water. One in three people in the world do not have access to water or tap water. So it's taking water like we cherish fine wines and fine spirits and giving it the respect that it deserves and looking at bottled water in a different way. And the taste of mother nature, all the amazing minerals for health, well-being, taste, it's all there. I absolutely love it. But we've water. not discovered it. And also the vocabulary. My generation, my parents' generation, were never taught to express the way water tastes. So, so we're here today to try a range of waters, and you may find something that delights taste wise and everything else. So. Okay, so where are we going to start then? What's the okay. first one? Yeah, so this is a very, very special water, Apsu oh. from Patagonia. So this is nomadic harvested water by boat, four days straight from a glacier. Is it expensive, this one? It is, but the price creates oh. conversation. <laughs> so cheers. Oh, that is delicious. Very smooth. How much is Ooh. this? It's about 130 pounds. So oh, it's oh, not... getting a whole lot more. <laughs> <laughs> it's not for Happy hydration, it's for the experience. Get it down, yeah. Get your money's worth. <laughs> I think I just have it. I had about 30 pounds it's, worth it's, there. It feels very clear. I love the clear. reaction. Yeah. Very clear. Why is it so expensive? It's the way it's harvested. It takes many days by boat, filled from a melting glacier by hand okay. and bottled. It's a beautiful backstory. You'll fall in love with it. And on a dinner table, Instead of having expensive wine, this will create amazing conversation. So what could you eat with that then? With this, because of its source, I would just have this by itself and try to discover the taste and the nuances that are within. But yeah, we will move on to like pairings as well. Oh, so. Do you think it's worth 130 pounds? It's creating a conversation yeah. on a dinner <laughs> table and the reaction. Personally, then yes. Yeah. 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 I'd, be, I'd be fine with you paying for it. <laughs> <laughs> Someone will pick up the bill, eh? <laughs> What's the next one? What's so we've one? got an amazing best of British here, Crag. The gentleman, oh. Doran. Yeah. That tastes the same as he the last one. No. He found gold underneath his pub. It's such a beautiful backstory. I even tell my son the story of Crag Water, where he found a beautiful source water from the Peak District mm. near Macclesfield. Amazing. I, I really like that one. I prefer that one. Mm. Um, weirdly, to the first one, I thought that was a little bit uh, metally. Yes, yeah. I can't taste any difference, just Ooh. taste watery. <laughs> Maybe you're just slightly dehydrated, but we can fix that a bit later. I think I am dehydrated, <laughs> I'm just going to have it all. <laughs> but yeah, soft, creamy uh, mouthfeel, definitely mm. with this. Oh, creamy. Yeah. Mm, and then go. the next water we have is gold. So if we're celebrating 40 years... Gold. <laughs> this, is the, this is the water here. Oh, so this has... Gold and silver colloids from a mountain region in Romania. So the Romans would go and drink these waters because they knew it was very special. Oh, I love that. That just tastes the same as the last one. Oh, I feel like it's getting better and better. Do you? You'll feel more weight and more of a sweetness with this aura gold as well. It's got a bit more Can weight. you feel the yeah, difference in yeah. that? That's my favourite so far. It was that one, then that one, and then, weirdly, the less expensive it's one. It's not about price, it's one. about personal preference right. and what feels good. So, our next one is Magnificat from the Portuguese Azores. Volcanic activity has created something truly special. Very rich Oh, and... that's definitely different. Yeah. That's got a little bit of a fizz going on, isn't it? Yes, and that is created by volcanic activity. So, when it comes out of the spring, oh. the bubbles are exactly like this from the spring. The taste of Mother Nature. Mother okay, Nature. We've got to be quick because we've only yes. got. Yeah. Okay, got and then now well. we've got Roy. This is a very rich oh. water, high in magnesium. Oh my I goodness! Can taste it. It's got an eight thousand year old yeah. vintage, um, but very good for you. Very good for you. <laughs> right. But you could pair it with oysters or dark chocolate. Is a very good. It's an aphrodisiac. Valentine's Day. That's just gone. Right. Yeah. This is the water to have between the sheets. Okay. What's mm. this one? You. Is this from my hometown? We'll, well find Birmingham's out. got the best we'll water. Find I would out. Taste let's for find that. out. Right, let's have a look go because we delicious. Been... Delicious. Birmingham has the best water in the whole of the UK. I'm just saying that. We both bought our, our waters from home. Mine's so delicious. I bought mine. Yeah. Come on, be I'm honest. I'm just trying to test with... And yours is Bristolian. 
No. Right, this is Bristol <coughs> and that's Bur Birmingham. Oh, my God. Okay. Awful. As a sommelier, live on TV, the soft sweetness of Birmingham water. Thank you. <laughs> It's my personal preference. That's good. Oh, thank you so much for bringing water Not to my problem. life. Thank you so much. Lovely to meet you. It's like the Willy Wonka of natural water. <laughs> it really is. <laughs> thank you, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank